Good day, Jill Admix, and welcome to Colorful Colorado. I'm Andrew Collins from Truck Yeah, and this is the 2017 GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Now, aesthetically, it looks pretty similar to last year's truck, but the new hotness is under the hood. It's also on top of the hood. Come on up here, we're gonna show you what I'm talking about. General Motors claims the new 6.6-liter .6 Duramax makes 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. While the 2017 Sierra HD's diesel engine is the same size and basic shape as last year's, the block, heads, camshaft, turbocharger, and a long list of other key components are new. But that big shiny snout on the hood is the loudest visual cue that the vehicle is packing more power. So what makes this scoop actually better than the intake on any other truck? So as cool as this mean old nostril looks, you gotta be thinking, well, what about snow and rain and you know birds and grasshoppers that are gonna get sucked in through there? There is, of course, a solution. So you're driving down the road, air comes through, you're getting a bit of a ram air effect. Air is gonna go under, it's gonna come in right here, and then it's gonna go into this. Now GM calls it a centrifugal somewhat whatever. What it really is is like a salad spinner. Basically, uh, air of course is lighter than water and snow and whatever other unsuspecting airborne animals you might consume. They're gonna land in the bottom while the air gets moved out there. Now of course that water and snow is gonna harmlessly get ejected just like with this little squeezy thingy, right on down to the road. Of course, if you suck up something a little bit bigger, you can actually unlock this whole thing, get your hand in there, and clean it out. But before that happens, hopefully it won't happen, the air that is uh, ready for your engine to consume is gonna go by this tube, which as you can see is covered with a heat shield to keep the temps down just a bit. It's gonna go down this way. It's gonna come up through here. And of course, with the hood closed, there's a direct line to this which is where the air will meet a second intake in the fender well, just like most standard trucks have. Both those air intakes are gonna converge. They're gonna go through a filter right here, and then they're just gonna proceed on into the engine through the intake manifold. 